Good afternoon to all of the MMTs and our new traders that are coming on board and people that are going to attend the free five-day trial. We're updating the ranges on the S&P. They were somewhat flat today. Let's take a look. This is a 60-minute chart right here, but let's take a look at a 15-minute chart today. We can see that we had a small gap up and that we've come back up here. It was very flat and very sideways today on the S&P. The S&P ended up closing at 1642.81. When we got down to the 1600 level now, that was Friday's rally, and today was very choppy and very light, narrow range volume, meaning that the upside volume was very minimal. Let's take a look at the Dow index and see where she wanted to fare. Looks like the Dow component, it too, ended up down only nine handles, okay? Because it did. The NASDAQ composite, on the other hand, it didn't do that bad, but it didn't do that well. It was very sideways, very low choppy volume. Individual equities came up off their lows, but the buy side volume wasn't bull side buy, buy side volume. It was just an algorithmic program in the buy and sell scripts in the ECNs. So we can clearly see that the Dow transports were down slightly. This is just a daily market recap. The broader index is just didn't really do anything. I will cover some individual stocks as far as part of the market wrap. Those were the indexes. Um, Lululemon is getting crushed in after hours, but uh, Google had a nice run from 879. The low was 880 up to 891. Okay, we have other stocks in here, AAPL in after hours. You can see here, Apple sold down hard as it did. And it sold off the highs. They had a conference today. Other stocks like Amazon fared well on the long side today. They came from 277 up to this 281 area. And this is a 15-minute trading chart. I can go to a, a, a 30 minute so you can see that's where today's ranges were on that one. There were some other ones that had uh, Netflix, NFLX. This is a market recap for the traders is that that 216 low held down here and you can see it short from 224 to 216 back up to the 222 where it had problems and fell back down. So it's in its trading range on a 30 minute chart. Some of the other ones that we had like LinkedIn L and KD on a 30 minute level. You can clearly see where it topped out at 175 and came back to 173. Very narrow range on these 30 minute charts today. And not only that, when we look at dailies tomorrow, we're hitting the upper end of resistance levels. Priceline did okay today. So here you go. Priceline hit those lows today. Went right back up toward the tops of 823. This is a 15 minute chart. Down here at 788, they came right back in that bull. And what are so these trades? Look at that bull is still there, it's just a midpoint of the year. Uh, some other stocks, uh, that SCTY. What happened here was SETY hit that bottom. We've been waiting for that. That 42 down to this 35 handle with the pop to 39. And once again, a reversal on the solar there. Now, when we take a look at first solar FSLR, we can clearly see how that stock had made a move back here when we got down toward that 50 area it has support but look at where the rally started that was a short which is a 15 minute bar today and the low was 52.85 and it went up to here we're going to hit the upper end of resistances on these solar stocks a lot of shorts into them but they're going to have problems visa on the other hand on a 15 minute level it finally performed it got to our price target last week and then it rallied up from 179.50 we made the 183 tops on visa mastercard on the other hand you can see that mastercard really on a 15 minute level didn't really break higher the low was the low was 562.66 and the high was 569 so you can see where these sell programs are coming in on some of these other betas now AutoZone for that matter we have a low over here of 405 back up to 418 on a 15 minute and these are going to hit resistances to sell short 
Let's take a look, and that was AutoZone. Let's take a look at TSCO. That's Tractor Supplies. Tractor Supplies also on a 15-minute chart got down to that 107 area on Friday. They had been selling all the way down, and we're putting double tops or slightly higher tops in there. We'll look at selling those at resistance levels. On the CMG trade, we can clearly see that CMG had a top of 369 and a support level of 363. And once again, it sold down off of its highs. Uh, we can clearly see at 351, it was a great buy uh, back when we had the last round of selling up here from 373 to 351 back up here to the 369 area and then a reversal immediately. So one thing about the wind trade, W-Y-N-N, -N, that one there is acting good as soon as it pulls up the chart, W-Y-N-N. -N. And when... On a 15-minute level, you can see it was on sale at 132 here on the 15-minute level, and it's come up all the way back up and made the higher highs in this. On a 15-minute level, you can see where that 138 and popped right back up, short-term reversal and a top. But nonetheless, when they get on sale, that's where the bull is stepping in and buying, and that's exactly what the MMTs will be doing. I will cover more stocks tomorrow. One that I will cover is Green Mountain Coffee, GMCR. 15 minute level you can clearly see 76 it pops up here to 79 it kind of sells off it got on sale over here at 70 and a half dollars in the last round of selling this is just a 15 minute chart if you want to see a 60 minute recap you can see over here where that 60 minute buy signal was there last week and uh, and and we've rallied up nine dollars and it too has top resistant shorts i'm going to conclude that these stocks are for the mmts if anyone would like to joinstockmarketfunding.com click on there's the trading tab hit open an account get started today click that read the kind of capital we will give you buying power intraday and we have programs on monthly levels or you can trade on your own but you'll get trading capital it's time for everybody to get back into this bull market if you're one of the older generational day traders or whatever, you've been whacked and you've been gone for all these years, it's time for you to come back. Yes, you may not have the money that you once did. Let us worry about that. We'll provide the trading capital to your account. Once again, I'm going to conclude the market daily cap.